All right, guys, here we go into a new computer art lesson. Uh, what we're going to get started on today as we are doing distance learning from home is we're going to now use Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com as our substitute for Photoshop. Uh, the version we're going to use is Pixlr E. There's also Pixlr X, which is a much simpler version, probably better for use on like your phone or something. Pixlr E is what we're going to use, very similar to Photoshop. Um, what we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna have to sign up, click sign up there. It'll probably say sign up if uh, if you haven't already. I have, so it's asking me to log in. You'll have to enter in your email, your summer's email, and create a password. They'll probably send you an email, ask you to verify. So you go to your email, find their email, click on the link, and that'll bring you into here, and you'll be able to. Go ahead and start using Pixlr E. So again, Pixlr X is like a very simplified version for, um, you know, on your phone maybe. It's a little easier. Icons are bigger, simplified stuff. Um, but what we want to do is use Pixlr E. Um, Pixlr Editor is what the E stands for. So we'll go to Create New. Full HD will, is the option we'll choose. Um, we'll name this Pixlr Drawing. So P-I-X-L-R drawing and say create. So which, like I said, um, this looks almost identical to Photoshop. We got our file system menu up here right underneath, you know, your URL bar. You got your toolbar on the left. You've got a navigation window on the right. Zoom in and zoom out you can do from here. Um, you can also scroll up and down on your trackpad and that will zoom in and out. Woo -woo. And we got layers and history. So uh, why don't we get started in doing a little pixel drawing, just kind of like we did on day one of computer art. So we're gonna be focusing on using mainly these six tools, this six pack right here of tools um, that are all used for different kind of drawing approaches. Let's start first by adding a gradient. Uh, for our background. So you got two types of gradient. You can choose radial or linear. And then to choose the colors for your gradient, click on the gradient bar. Uh, you could choose from some preset ones here. If you scroll through, you got a lot of nice ones. Um, if you want to create your own, click on the color swatch. And then click on this box that says color. And you can create or choose whatever gradient colors you want to have. So once you are happy with your colors, click over here on your window, click drag across and let go, and you've created a gradient background. Beautiful. So now what we wanna do is create a new layer. We'll hit this plus sign in our layers panel and say em empty. We can choose text layer, uh, image layer, or an empty layer. We'll create an empty one. Um, now what we're gonna do is just move over in our toolbar to our shape tool. Uh, you have some different shapes you can choose from here. You've got this stroke number, which is the thickness of the outline. Um, if you want an outline, if you don't want an outline, I bet you can just hit zero in there and then you will have zero outlines on your shapes. But let's just say I have an outline. Um, down here we have the color of the outline and the color of the fill. So if you wanna change your colors outline, you would click on this color and we could change the outline, maybe just make it black for now and then say okay and the color that the circle will fill or whatever shape you're drawing, so maybe we'll draw a shape, uh, this will be a circle. So if I wanna make a perfect circle, hold shift just like you would in Photoshop, otherwise you will create ovals. Um, so I'm gonna just create a few circles here, uh, change the colors, maybe I'll switch up my color to something else for the next one and say okay. Hold shift, click drag to make a circle and then click again, change my color again. Click drag, make another circle. Cool, and uh, maybe I'll do one more just for kicks. And maybe I'll change the outline on this one. Maybe I'll do a couple more with white outlines. So hold shift, click drag, make another circle. A couple more, maybe one more, all right. Click, drag, circle. All right, cool. We made circles, shapes. So yeah, feel free to use any of the shapes you want to use. That is a okay by me. So 
Uh, next thing we are going to go over, if we're just going around here, we could use the fill bucket. So fill bucket tool, it just does just as um, we want. We always know um, it's going to fill things. So if we want to fill in one of these circles, like a different color, like um, maybe I say, oh, what does it give me? I wanted to pick an orange here. Uh, let's see. There we go. I want an orange. There we go. And then if I click in a shape, it will change it to orange. All right. So that looks good. Um, I could, you know, pick another color. Maybe I'll just change the color of one of my orange ones because I got too many oranges now. All right. So fill bucket. Cool. It does filling things. Um, eraser tool. Eraser tool is right here. As we've all always known and loved the eraser tool, you can change its size, you could change its shape. Um, so if I want a big eraser, I could do this, and then I could erase one of my circle shapes. I could also hit Control Z uh, to undo. I hit Command Z because I am on my Mac, but if you're on your Chromebook, you would hit Control Z to undo. So. Let's go ahead and add one more layer up in here. So we'll go empty layer. Uh, so this will be layer two. We got zero, one, and two. And now we're working our way around to the brush tool. So again, brush tool, just like that eraser tool, when we click on this menu, it has some different shapes we can choose. So I can choose like a diamond shaped brush. Uh, I can make the size bigger. Um, don't have quite as many brush options as we did in Photoshop, but we have some different pen brush options, which are kind of cool. So just go ahead and experiment with making some different lines with these brushes. Again, remember control Z will undo. Um, so why don't I make a couple of lines, choose a different color for this line. I got a round brush now and maybe I'll do one last line with the square brush. And again, you can do this kind of cool thing here where you add spikes. So you can add make up the number of spikes that your uh, brush has. You could also change the angle, which is kind of interesting. If you want to change angles, uh, that would probably be better for like a thin brush. And you can change the aspect, which that's pretty neat. Um, so let's try and make some more brushes here. Cool, again, Control Z will undo. You could also go back in your history panel. Uh, all the way down at the bottom is your most recent move. So if you wanna click back to go up uh, or back in your history, you just kinda click back and then you could scroll all the way down to the bottom and I could go all the way down and click on the, my most recent one at the bottom to redo if I wanna redo. All right, so yeah, I was just gonna add a couple other lines. That's a pretty cool brush that I use there. I could switch these colors if I want to do a switch, quick color switch from a one to a different one. Um, and yeah, so again, these are pretty cool little brushes and stuff that we got going on here. All right, so last thing, last thing for today, and then we'll call it a day, is we're gonna do some pen lines. So let's add one more layer. So we'll make it again an empty layer. So we've got one layer with a gradient, one layer with some shapes. Uh, another layer with some brush lines and this layer three is going to be for some pen lines So with the pen tool and again, if you haven't noticed already if you hover your uh, cursor arrow Just scroll over any one of these tools. It tells you what they are with a nice little pop-up window so here in the uh, pen tool, we have some different lines. We can do plain, sketchy, ink crayon, all these cool stuff So try out a couple different lines the size uh, you know, bump it up, see if you can see those lines really well. Um, so this is an ink line, so you can see it kind of does like a little inky trail kind of thing. I can try out a different furry line maybe. Again, change my color up one more time and try to make a furry line, whatever that is. All right, again, the size being up I think works better for the, some of these pen lines. Let's try trail. Trail was a cool one if I remember right. Yeah, so trail makes a pretty cool line. So have a, a you know have at it with all those different drawing tools and things like that. Uh, when you're finished, we're just gonna go ahead and save this up. And the way we're gonna do that is go to File right here, not in Chrome though, in the um, system menu that's just underneath the URL bar. We've got File, Edit, all these stuff just like we do have in Photoshop. So we'll go File Save. We are going to keep the file name as pixeldrawing.jpg. We'll choose JPEG from here. And then um, for quality, we'll keep it at high. 
and then we'll say download here. And what that's gonna do is put this file in your downloads folder on your, on your computer. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it's in your downloads folder like we're used to finding in the finder. Um, you know, go to your dock, go to your finder. Uh, if you're on your Chromebook, which I'm assuming most of us actually are, there's a small circle in the corner of your Chromebook which you can click on, it brings up kind of your apps and stuff. You'll see a folder called files. If you click on that files folder, you'll be able to see this file in your downloads called Pixar Drawing. And um, in that window, you'll also see your Google Drive. So put this file in your Google Drive and then you can turn it in in Google Classroom. So uh, you will see that I'm adding a new Pixlr topic. Uh, it'll be right at the top if you go to your classwork tab from our computer art class. So I uh, hope you have lots of luck with creating your own Pixlr drawing today and uh, looking forward to creating some more cool stuff with Pixlr with you guys as we continue our distance learning from home. All right, signing off and hope you guys have fun and be creative with your stuff.